Um, all right, moving on to the Mighty Hawks. I was going to say beloved Hawks from Filch again, but I won't do that to him this week. I hate um, the Hawks. Pilch, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I pulled it out. But uh, Pilch, what did you make of the Hawks season? Yeah, just kidding. I don't hate the Hawks anymore because they're bad now. But um, once again, actually a positive season. I personally, I think I actually tipped them to win the Wooden Spoon over North Melbourne. So they've clearly surpassed that and especially toward the end of the year, some big scalps, probably more due to the fact that Clarko was leaving. So they started, I don't know, playing like Essen in 2012. But MVP, Tom Mitchell, and then best young player, Dylan Moore, extremely underrated. I'd actually, I'd take him over Tom Papley and Tom Papley made the All-Australian team. So there you go. And I've got more for... Most uh, most improved as well, and a six out of ten for the radio. Yeah. Shout out to Dylan Moore. He actually does commerce at Monash um, because the uh, exam rooms are set up in alphabetical order, and my mate, his last name is Morris, so um, Moore would always be between me and him. Um, obviously, a couple of people in between, but um, yeah, so we we know him well. Fair to say. Uh, but yeah, Hawks, decent year. Um, I know Curtis loves bragging on about it, but they do have a very exciting back six. Still not convinced that any of them are actually defenders or can defend, but they are good at going forward and is a good launching pad. Uh, seems like Mitch Lewis is a pretty decent um, tall forward. They've got um, good like ruck craft with Ned Reeves and the Segler. Not sure if the Segler is leaving, but um, pretty much every ruckman they put in did well. Big Dick Segler. Wait, isn't it Big Dick McAvoy? Oh, I don't know. They've no, all got Big, big Dick, McAvoy. so that's your real. Oh, big yeah, Dick, big it's Big Dick Segler. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but my BNF is actually going to go to, not the forgotten man of the AFL competition, but Jago O'Meara, I actually think, had a really good year. Um, yeah, for some reason, he polled a lot better than Tom Mitchell for me, which I was surprised at, but fair play to Jago. Young player, this guy... Could have played three games. I have no idea, but he's picked up seven votes. So will they? Um, obviously a gun young player. So I don't think anyone's going to like say he doesn't deserve to be of that caliber. But obviously CJ and um, who did Pilch just say? Completely forgot. Dillmore. Oh yeah, Dillmore probably deserve it more. Uh, but yeah, see, I gave CJ my most improved, even though we hadn't really seen much of him before this year. No one was really expecting him to come out and tear it up like he did. So fair play. Uh, and I'll give them a six and a half out of 10. Shout out to Scrim. Um, Rowie, what would you make of the Hawk season? Um, yeah, obviously expectations weren't that high this year, but um, they were just the worst team to tip the Hawks. Um, you know, the week where you thought, sure, they can't win this, they come out and, you know, pump them by like five goals. And the... Uh, and then, the win, then you finally decide to tip them and then they play, you know, worse than the Crom last year. So it was, that was a nightmare to tip, but um, I guess it always made games interesting. So BNF, got to give it to Tidge. Um, I brought him in for danger straight swap week one of Supercoach and it was a, he was a nightmare for about two months. Um, but then he finally started coming good and started becoming a player everyone wanted. So all in all... Um, I don't hate him anymore. So, yeah, BNF's got to go to him. Doesn't take much to probably win the best in Ferris or Hawks. So, you know, a few 40 disposal games, he can have it. Most improved, I actually think um, I won't drop Dylan Moore's pants um, unlike these two. So, I'll give it to Blake Hardwick. Um, I think he was he had a um, solid year for the Hawks. Obviously, stood up um, with a team that um, probably needed a few blokes to step up, um, you know, going through a little bit of a mini rebuild. Um, so he was really solid for them down back, providing a bit of leadership as well, I think. So good on him there. Best young player. Obviously, I'll, I'll throw Dylan Moore's name Dylan Moore's name in there. Um, obviously, really good pressure for there. Racks up a lot of stats. Um, I'll give it a three-way tie as well. So I think three halfbacks. So Scrimmer, CJ, and Lockie Bramble as well showed a lot of promise at the end of the season. Um, so good on him. And I guess you could throw Will Dane there as a fourth halfback. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I'll give him a 6.5 as well, um, just because, the, yeah, they had some really promising wins this year, the Hawks, especially towards the latter half of the year, um, and only just fell behind Carlton on, like, 3%. So, like, 
yeah, Carl, they could have finished higher than Carlton. If you said at the start of the year, then, you know, you would have been dreaming. So, yeah, I'll give them 6.5. Yeah, completely agree. They've actually got too many halfbacks. Like, we were trying to explain this to Curtis that it just isn't going to fit. But yeah. I actually have no <laughs> idea what they're going to do next year because, like, everyone you just mentioned, Roy, and then throw in Jarman MP when he returns from injury. Like, it's actually, I have no idea what they're going to do, but... I guess you'd rather have that than have no one. Um, all right, moving on to the, the Blues. <laughs> that would be that would be stiff. That would be stiff. It's a miracle! Oh yeah! What about that one? Unbelievable! Balotelli, Aguero! Oh! Crowd cheers. Here's Siddle. 